Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing three easy blues licks using just the pentatonic scale. I've covered the pentatonic scale in previous lessons, okay? You can check out some of the links below. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So yes, you can play this on the electric or the acoustic. It's gonna work both ways. In fact, playing it on the electric might be a little bit easier to do the bends because there's some bends involved here. But, you know, it's also good to do it on the acoustic because it'll build strength into your fingers as well, okay? So now I'm not gonna show you exactly what I played in the beginning, purely because it was improvised and I have no idea what I played, but I did try and incorporate the licks into it. So the first one sounded like this. That was a bend down, maybe I did a bend up, I can't quite remember. But you get the idea, right? So the difference between a bend up and a bend down is it has a slightly different feel, slightly different sound. And most of the time I only do bend downs if I'm on the acoustic guitar, purely it's a strength thing, you know? So that's our first little lick. Now I've got my first, second and third finger on the G string, starting at the fifth fret, then my third finger on the seventh. So I'll show you the bend up first. Now, because we're on the acoustic guitar, we can only bend up a semitone. So it's just, we can only get up to that note there. Okay, if you're on the electric, you could get up there and it would sound just as cool, okay? So I'm bending using all three fingers, just purely for strength. You don't have to use three fingers, okay? It's just if you don't have the strength, to use just the first and third, or just the third then, add that extra finger, okay? So, I'm hitting the G string, the third string, and pushing in and up, and then I'm letting it come back down, okay? So it's up, down, and I'm leaving the pressure on, all right? Then I'm doing a pull off. So I'm pulling off from this seventh fret and you see I've got my first finger on the fifth fret to get that pull off note. Now you can, you know, you don't have to be strict with these licks. They're not taken from any particular song. And then you see I land my third finger on the seventh fret on the D string sixth, uh, sorry, the fourth string. I don't know what I'm talking about, the sixth string. The D string, the fourth string. So super slow. Bend back down, pull off. Now you see what happens if you do it too slow. It loses the energy, so you have to try it with a bit of speed. Okay. Then because we're in the key of A, I just finish it off with that A tone. In fact, this is A as well, and I'm just doing the lower octave there. So it's the fifth fret on the sixth string this time, the lower E string. Now, if you're uncomfortable with a bend up, you could try a bend down, which has kind of got a different feel. That's quite nice. So I'm kind of doing a quick ba -dum, ba -dum. So it's less of a controlled bend up. It's like a quick pull down. If I do it super slow. Same thing, pull off. Seventh fret on the D string. It's kind of cool, right? So that is our lick one. Lick two, probably a little bit easier. You can do the same thing there, you can finish it off with an A. So what am I doing? I'm actually flattening my third finger on the seventh fret, hitting the D string, and then I'm hitting the G string, the two middle strings, D string again, 
then I go down to the fifth fret on the G string. And then finish off. That note is A and it's the seventh fret on the D string. And you can put that down there as well if you want. Fifth fret on the E string. Put a little bend there. Now if you find it hard to flatten your finger across those two middle strings, and by the way, if you want to get the right timing, I'm doing a down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Yeah, if you change the timing, you end up with that kind of uh, John Lee Hooker. Okay. So you see where the lick comes from. It's kind of old school, right? Um, if you can't flatten your finger across those two middle strings, you can use the second and third finger. And again, you can kind of mix it up and add it where you feel it sounds cool. Get the idea right so that's lick two lick three is this or so there's kind of two ways that I normally do it and it's maybe it's like this kind of Chuck Berry thing that everyone uses so it's kind of like a standard lick if you like so what I'm doing there I'm on the seventh fret on the G string again now I'm definitely bending up. You can't really get away with a, a down bend here or a down pull. So I'm bending up using all three fingers just for strength. And then I'm playing, I'm flattening my first finger on the fifth fret on the B and the top E. Okay, so now the bend. You know, again, because I'm on the acoustic guitar, I can't quite get the full bend, so I'm just doing a semitone. So like I'd be going just one fret. Okay, so you don't really, you don't want to hang, hang out there because it's not going to sound too hot. Just quick bend or quick curl. Okay, but as soon as we've done those notes, so it's one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, what I'm doing then, I'm effectively going back to this A note on the top E, the fifth fret, but I'm playing it on a different string so I can slide to it. Now, you might think, well, oh, well we're coming out of the pentatonic. Well, we're coming out of the, this pentatonic position. And we're just going up to the next position, but in fact, the note is the same here. So on the B string, 7th fret, or sorry, 8th fret on the B string, and as soon as my finger's down, I'm plucking and sliding at the same time, so you don't want to go, you want to go, you slide at the same time, so you want that. Now you don't want this. You could do that, but you know, again, it's adapting the riff, so no rules, right guys, do what you like. So, so super slow. As soon as that finger's there, pluck and slide to the 10th fret. Sometimes I add an extra note in there. So I go bend up on the G, fifth on the B, fifth on the top E, and I play fifth again on the B. Da 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 da. And then I do the same thing there. So it all comes down to timing, 
on what feels natural and what sounds natural at the end of the day. Or... And you see I just put a bit of vibrato on the end. Or... So vibrato is just, you know, vibrating that string, that's all that means. Don't get too excited, guys, or ladies. So there you have it. Hope you found that lesson helpful. You know, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Don't forget the links below, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.